So are there any other ways that a mutation can be introduced? Actually, yes. There's another serious but less common exposure to x-rays. X-ray energy radiation actually causes a nick in the DNA backbone, cutting it into two pieces, essentially separating a chromosome into two pieces. That sounds like really bad news, Matt. It can be. Most of the time, your cells are able to immediately attach the chromosome back together. But because it's such a big deal, your cells will try to attach it really quickly and to anything it can find. Remember, there's not a lot of space in your cells and the DNA is packed really close together. This means that sometimes a chromosome piece breaks off and gets attached to a whole other chromosome, like this. So the information is still preserved, just rearranged onto different chromosomes. Exactly. And we call this a translocation. But if all the information is still there, why is it a problem? Well, sometimes all the information turns out is not there. But even if it is, think of all the problems you could run into with rearranged information. Let's take this chromosome pair where there's one gene in orange at the end, and then another chromosome pair where there's this gene in pink at the end. Now let's say there's a chromosome break in each chromosome, and it happens right in the middle of the two respective genes. And just by sheer random chance, now let's say these chromosome pieces swap so that the genes landed exactly in frame with each other's coding region. What do you think the most likely result will be? Let's assume that everything swapped in frame. I want you to select the answer that you think is best. 